So I'm going to work my way through the humerus starting at the top and moving down. This is the head of the humerus which articulates with the glenoid cavity of the scapula. Underneath the head is the anatomical neck. And then wrapping around this way is the surgical neck. There's the greater tubercle, lesser tubercle, and in between the two is the intertubercular sulcus. So if you lay the humerus down flat, there's this bump protruding outwards, which is the deltoid tuberosity. The deltoid tuberosity is a roughened triangular patch where the deltoid muscle attaches. So this is the view from the anterior side. If you flip it to the posterior side, can't really see it you kind of have to feel across with your finger there's a little divot that divot is the radial groove which is where the radial nerve passes along the posterior side of the humerus so coming back to the anterior side on the bottom there are these two bumps um, they're condyles, which means they fit into a joint, but they have specific names. This is the capitulum and the trochlea. And above the trochlea is the coronoid fossa, and above the capitulum is the radial fossa. So because these are condyles, the bumps next to them are the medial epicondyle and lateral epicondyle. Medial, because it's towards the head, and lateral. Now flipping around to the back, this is the olecranon fossa.